Good morning, guys. Uh, today is Tuesday the 16th, and it's time for an update. It's overdue. Uh, my last stitching update was before Christmas, so we're going to get this done today. If you look here to the whatever this is, don't mind that bag. You might see right there. See? Oh, you can't see. Um, that's my four-year-old. He I had to pick him up early from school yesterday. Fever. So he's on that 24-hour fever watch. That's okay. He's watching his Kindle, doing his thing. Somebody asked, I don't remember answering this, but somebody asked me not that long ago what was in this cage right here. That is Butters. Uh, she is our guinea pig. Um, for those of you that have watched for a while or paid attention, I guess. Uh, Butters' sister, Shadow, died last spring. And Butters was always the more timid of the girls, so I didn't think she was going to make it. I thought for sure she was going to die of a broken heart. She's fine. So Butters is in there. Okay. Let's get started. Happy New Year. I got a haircut. Yes. So tired of that hair. Um, all right, so I've worked on a lot of things since my last video, so I'm really excited to share them. And I am just gonna jump right in. I think my last video was on like the 21st, maybe, of December. I probably should have gone back and looked. Um, on the 24th, which was Christmas Eve, I started my a, a Prairie Schooler Santa with Sim Swank on Instagram. This is our third Santa that we've started together. Um, we chose the 2007 Santa. Uh, Jill's been doing a lot of knitting, so I think that's what excited her. And I had it, so I got started and I went crazy. Um, this is as far as I have gotten. I did, for I run out of 221, and then in my unfinished 2004 Santa, found a length of 221. So I finished off his robe, except for, I just noticed this morning, one single stitch right there. Oops. So this is as far as I've gotten. I used a strand of Whisper. Um, and a strand of Ecru, I believe, for his beard, and then I did convert his skin tone. And this is being stitched on 18 count Fiddler's Ada from DMC. So I didn't do his scarf yet because I'm switching out the colors. I ordered a couple wools. Um, it was Jill's idea to use, well, she said a wooly color, and I'm assuming she meant wool, so. Um, the, I think it was charted for Ecru and green and with my fabric, especially that would blend right in. So I got like a grayish, I think it was, I should have brought it with me, gassed, uh, por portobello, portobello, the mushroom, um, to use. And then I got a green, but it's definitely the wrong green. So I need to pick up a couple more wool greens and see what I want to use. So that'll get picked back up when I figure out what to use for the scarf. Pretty far, I'm gonna finish that. Not as far on my 2004 Santa that she finished. So those are on my docket to finish this year though, before the 24th where we start our next one. On the 28th, I started Forest Snowfall. This is a stitch along with Chelsea and Priscilla. So many people have already finished. I have not. Let me find it here. Uh, Country Cottage Needleworks Forest Snowfall. I purchased the kit with all of the colors and fabric from Down Sunshine Lane. Um, and then I changed the fabric. <laughs> so. Well, now I have an extra piece of fabric. And I worked on this for a few days, and this is as far as I've gotten. I'm uh, stitching this on a 32 count petite point gray and white because it looks like snow. Isn't that cute? 
and I'm using all of the charted colors except for the blue. I believe Down Sunshine Lane came up with an alternate because it didn't really pop off the face, or it didn't look like, oops, the chart. So this is a different color. I don't know what it is. I couldn't tell you. The blue is something different. Um, I was really going crazy on this one and I was really excited about it and then I realized that on the right hand side of my house I made it one stitch too wide so this window is one stitch too wide and I got really angry um, I'm not ripping it out it will be what it is and you can see obviously I counted here with the snow because I was like how did that how did I miss that stitch that's so strange I didn't I'm just an idiot but I'm going to get back to this soon because I'm pretty sure it was Priscilla. I don't know who answers comments on <laughs> videos, but I did a stitch with me and one of them was like, hey, you should do a stitch with me. You know, thanks for doing this. I got a lot of stitching done, which makes me believe it was Priscilla because Chelsea hasn't been stitching a whole lot. You should do another one with Forest Snowfall. I'm gonna. My next one is going to be with Forest Snowfall just for you. Plus, I really, even though this isn't on my list to finish, it needs to get finished. They've already started another stitch along. Ah. Uh, PC Forest Snowfall on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, you can check out everybody's progress. Then, on, it was supposed to be a New Year New Start, but I started it on New Year's Eve because I can. I started the Soda Stitch Fairy Tale Stitch Along from Coffee Stitcher. I'll try to link all this stuff below too. Um, I am starting Fairy Tale Land 1. That's the chart. You can see it. Um, so, this is what it looks like. Um, you can join my Facebook group that I will link below. I am ordering these probably this week. I'm going to order some more. Um, because I did sell out of a lot of the fairy tale charts. But I did hold this one. I had I had held Fairy Tale Land 2 for me as well, but then I sold it because somebody wanted it. But this one I held and I started straight in the middle. Um, and this is where I have gotten I just did this little gingerbread guy um, in an evening. He's so cute. That back stitch guys. And this is on 32 count Jobelin in Sandcastle from Witch Elf. This is also the fabric that I'm doing my giant Harry Potter on. I love it. I should probably order some more of that at some point because I do, I love Witch Elf Jobelin. I love it. So I started that. I think I have written down the 30th, but it was the 31st. No, I have written down the 1st. I lied. But it was the 31st, New Year's Eve night. New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's night Eve. January 1st, I worked on the Guardians of Notre Dame, which is an Ingleside Imaginarium stitch along for 2018. Um, Brittany released part one, New Year's Eve, late in the night. So I printed it off. It took me probably seven days to finish this, but I wasn't stitching a whole lot at the beginning of the year. But I finished it, except for, I do see that I think I missed, I did miss part of the back stitch at the very bottom of this guardian, but that's okay. So there he is, the first guy. Oh, it was so fun. That back stitch, no joke. No joke. Brittany says the second one is going to be pretty intense too. Something about feathers. I am stitching this on 32 count bell fast in fresco from Picture This Plus. That's what that's going to look like. Obviously I've not gotten any further on the borders and I need to. And I found a mistake. Somewhere down towards the bottom, I have miscounted somewhere and I just fudged it. I figure if my border is a little bit off, like if the inside is, a little, it's fine. I I'll figure it out. I can figure it out. 
He's so silly. So I'm looking forward to February's. Um, looking forward to February's block. I, okay, so also on late on the 31st, the class schedule sale from Armada Designs came out. I don't even think I pulled that piece. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with that. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'm waiting for February to decide. But that one might be, might be a bust. Which is the risk you take when you order and start a stitch along, um, a mystery stitch along. You just don't know. You just don't know. So I also have one more new start and I can't show it to you. Um, it is part of a swap and I don't know if it's recipient watches floss tube. So I can't show it, but I really wish I could because it is so amazing and I love it and I can't wait until it is finally gifted, which will be in March. <laughs> um, because I love it. I did send a picture of it to one of my friends who is part of that group, so it wasn't going to be giving anything away, and she said that it didn't suck, so I was a little worried that it, that, because I've never done it before, so I am going to work on that again, um, soon, because I still have to, like, assemble it all, and I'm a little worried about that. That's okay, though. I did work on some whips. I worked on the Stitchy Box Sarah Clonmel sampler. Um, right at the end of the year in December and I stitched Sarah so I am really close we're really close to the end of it my goal has been to start every line so that I get an idea of the color and then go back in so I will work on that again this month I worked on Matters Choice again. I'm pretty sure I worked on this again since you have seen it last. I am fairly certain. Did you guys see that McKenna already finished? God, she's a monster. Hers looks so good. Finished, put in the last stitches on Instagram Live and then framed it on, on IG. How crazy is that? So, this is where I am. Something happened here. I'm going to figure out how to get rid of those fuzzies where I had to frog. Or maybe I'll end up stitching over it. I guess I'd have to look. This is what Matters Choice... Oh, that is not what Matters Choice looks like. That's what a quarter of the chart looks like. Carriage House Sampling is Matters Choice. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I had started that fountain or whatever that is right here. That's what it looks like. It's gorgeous. I love this so much. I love McKenna's. She did not stitch this down here, um, and I love the way it looks. I guess I'll make that a game time decision. I'm sure I'll stitch it, though. This is where I'm at. That house is crazy. I am stitching this on a 28 count Monaco, I think. I'm pretty sure that this was just something that I had in my stash, like a Charles Craft or DMC or whoever does that. I'm not. Probably Charles Craft. And I coffee and tea dyed it. Um, a la... And, and based and based and bake. I don't know. Who was a la Vanna and Chelsea and Priscilla. So that's what the piece is going to look like. Richard just ran off somewhere. Who knows what he's doing. So I, I hopefully we'll get back to that for a little bit at some point. Probably not. Oh, I forgot my. I forgot another whip. I need to get that. Oops. 
I also worked on In the Meadow, which is one of my Wapocalypse pieces. From Just Cross Stitch, December 2002. And I worked on his scarf. So I pulled my own colors. I don't know what they are. So if you're interested, I can tell you. Uh, cranberry and Midnight. Both from the Gemmel Art. These are old. These have been in my stash for so long. So long. So, yeah, that's where I've gotten. I do enjoy working on this. It's an 18 count Ada, a light blue that I've had since December 2002. I do like that. I look forward to that being done because it is old. Probably my oldest working with. You know, well, I guess. Oops, I should put that back. And I worked on down a lot. Apparently I've just been flitting about. I worked on Kindred Spirits by the Primitive Needle. I'm using my own flosses for this. I'm using HDF. And I am stitching this one over two. On 40 count murky. And this is where I'm at. Every time. Okay. Back to what I was talking about. Kindred spirits. 40 count murky. So uh, I got a lot done. I finished the word Halloween. So Halloween B, I carried. I carried the borders all the way across the bottom and up the right hand side, filled in a couple more of the little motifs. There's still a lot left of this though. I keep thinking, oh, another day or so and I'll be done. No, no, still a lot to do, but I'm still enjoying it quite a bit. Also on my plans to finish this year, hopefully early in the year. We'll see. And then the thing that I've been working on the most recently for the last couple nights is give thanks. This was a chart that was in my Goodwill binder that then I ended up finding in um, the magazine that it belonged to that I had on DVD. So I just printed off my pattern on DVD. So I can't show you what it looks like. I'm doing a color conversion. Uh, I didn't bring them over. Hmm. Didn't bring them, not gonna go get them. Um, the words are in Autumn Leaves by Gentle Art. The green is Thistle by Gentle Art which is uh, one of their limited edition colors for this past fall, maybe. Maybe it was summer, I don't remember. And then this, I think is poinsettia, but I don't remember for sure. I'll try to figure it out. And I am stitching this on a 32 count Jobelin in Sagebrush from Under the Sea Fabrics. So I have, finished the borders on the top and bottom. And then last night I just started, well, this looks like a butterfly to me, so I call it the butterfly, even though I'm sure it's not. I don't know what it is. But I started the little butterfly last night. I didn't stitch a whole lot last night. So I'm really close. I'm really close to done. This is um, 
going to be what I focus on for the next week or so. I think I can finish it within a week if I really focus. And I've just had a really busy week this week. And tomorrow I'm going to be gone most of the day. And then I had a sick kid yesterday and today. So I'm hoping maybe Thursday. Thursday is going to be my only day that I'm home alone during the day. So maybe I'll just focus on stitching. I just won't do anything else. Shirk all responsibilities. I love it. I do love that so much. I'm looking forward to that one being done. Oh, I did forgot another thing. Son of a biscuit. Okay, so that's everything that I worked on. My plan is to keep working on Give Thanks. Um, I haven't really had the urge to start anything else, but I do have the urge to have Christmas ornaments stitched on my tree this year. So I've decided to do an ornaments year of starts. And on the 18th of every month, I'm going to start an ornament and work on it for like a few days. The 18th, 19th, and 20th, I think, is what I decided in my head I was going to do. Who knows what's going to happen there. Um, I've already picked my ornament, but I didn't bring it over here, so you can't see it. <laughs> It'll be a surprise for the next time, but I'm really excited about it. Um, what else have I done? Work stuff. Um, I'm accepting subscriptions for February's, um, what I'm calling 3L's Nest Egg, which is my stash builder auto ship floss club. I'll link it below. Um, I sent out my first newsletter at the beginning of this year. That was fun. So I'll include the link below of my newsletter if you want to get on it. It's especially helpful if you're interested in what I'm doing and what I'm selling in my Facebook pre-sale group because I do offer discounts in my Facebook group before I move things to Etsy um, because Etsy has a higher overhead of listings. So I can offer things cheaper in my Facebook group. Some people don't use Facebook. So the newsletter is a good way to get the information that I send out to them too. So I'll link that below. Um, I did my Little House Needleworks farm house Christmas. Is it farmhouse Christmas? Um, Pre-orders, and I need to update my supplier with those chart numbers. I got in my first shipment of the floss pack and put those together, so those will start shipping soon. For those of you that just off um, ordered floss, I'll be shipping those hopefully this week. For those of you that offered or that ordered the floss in the chart, those. Floss will ship with the chart. Those I'm not accepting any more orders on. Um, what else? Haul. So I'm stitching from stash. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the magazine, The Gift of Stitching. It is a digital magazine that was published in the early to mid 2000s I want to say there are 72 issues I had never heard of it never heard of it and then somebody mentioned that they were um, going like they were putting their Etsy shop out of business that's the only place that you could buy these magazines at this point and they were 50% off so I went out and looked at the Etsy shop and just looked at the magazine covers because you didn't really know what was in them they were digital and maybe you could google it I didn't even think about it and there were some gorgeous charts on the covers, and I was like, well, I just need all 72 copies. I got all 72 issues, so I bought those. And it was like 103 bucks for 72 issues. The issues are about like 30 to 45 pages each, digital, but I mean, I guess you could print them. I am only through um, the 20th magazine issue, issue 20. There is literally a chart in every single issue so far that I want to stitch. One I've already printed and I'm using for a project that I'm working on currently. There is Prairie Schooler. There is Chatelaine. There is Long Dog. There is uh, Ink Circles. There are people that I've never heard of. There are huge mystery samplers that are gorgeous. There are smaller charts. There this 
I can't even tell you. I will link the Etsy shop below. She is closing down at the end of this month. I can't remember her name. You're welcome. Sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. So that blew my Stitch from Stash budget right out of the water. Obviously, don't care. Worth it? Worth it. In the meantime, though, I did let one of my magazine subscriptions lapse, so I won't be paying for that anymore. Um, so that's how I tell myself. But I do have to, I've got to stash unload a few things because when I went through all of my stash um, in December, I know there are things in there that I'm never going to stitch. So I'll be able to build that back up, plus I'll have some finishes. It'll be fine. Worth it. Worth it. I will link it below. Um, a couple things that I did get before the new year. I don't know if I got these before the new year or not. I got a lovely gift. I don't know if I talked about this the last time. I got a lovely gift. I must not have because it's still in my stash stuff. From Jennifer. She is in my Facebook group. She's a very good customer. And she sent me this beautiful Christmas card, which I, I love it. It's so nice. And she had a wonderful note inside that I, I always tear up when people write me little notes. So thank you. And she sent me this super cute Plum Street Samplers. Hello, fall. Fall is my favorite season. And I did not have this chart. And I love it. I should probably kit it up. Because I need something else to start. So thank you. I do love this. Oh! So that was a nice little gifty. Um, the Good Huswife on Etsy. So I hear rumbles that she's going to be releasing. I don't know if she's going to be re-releasing all of her patterns. But she's re-releasing a few. Um, she's already done Book of Spells, which I didn't get because I don't, it's like I like seeing people stitch it, but I don't want that. But she did have these. Yes, she did. Ira Ray and Ida May Crow. Heck yeah. So those were on sale right before, um, right before the new year. Ten bucks each. Like Jessica, Schoolhouse Stitcher, said she could have re-released these on paper towel and I would have been okay. I love these. I have loved these for a long time. When I was looking on eBay and Etsy, they were going for like 30 bucks a piece. And I... No. So I loved them. But not that much. So I got them. 10 bucks each. They're so cute. Charted for um, NPS silks and DMC. And I like that she um, has put on here original printing 2009, reprint 2017. That's kind of neat. And I will likely, as she re releases things, if I like it, I'm going to buy it. I have really got to get my stuff together when it comes to what charts I have. Because I have several Good Huswife patterns that I have purchased on eBay and Etsy and I don't want to rebuy anything. You know what I'm saying? I also went to Goodwill this, uh, it was last week. Today's Tuesday. And I dropped off a whole van full of stuff that had been collecting in my garage. And then, of course, I like to check out the craft section, and I did purchase um, 18 Count Ada, 18 Count Ada, 18 Count Ada. They were 69 cents each. This is a 14 Count Ada, which I must have just grabbed. I think I must have grabbed all the fabric, but I'll use it. Brand new. And I was really excited about perforated, there's some perforated paper and I think one sheet of perforated plastic. Yeah, right here. And I got this for 99 cents. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, three sheets. I don't know. Anyway, it was worth it. Um, 
Oh, this is 16 count perforated plastic. Uh, it, it, uh, Interesting. Uh, but the um, plastic canvas, I'd wanted to get some of that because I joined the Heart Drops Facebook group that um, Katie is, Katie started the group, but it was somebody else's idea and I can't remember their name. But it's a lot like the painted rocks where you find painted rocks and you, you know, take a picture and check into the Facebook group and uh, rehide it. Axel actually found a painted rock over the summer in a park and then took it like two hours away to another park and left it. I haven't seen anything about it since then. So anyway, it's just like a, a nice way to spread cheer, right? So the heart drops are the same. Stitchers will stitch um, little hearts on plastic canvas and then just leave them around for people to find. And then Katie also opened up a heart drops found page so people check in that they found them and they can keep them or rehide them. It's just something to make you smile. So I need to make some of those so I can hide them. And then I got oh, this. I had to. It's a buck ninety nine. Hey, hey, hey. Shh. Too much. And it's stapled on this cardboard. So you can see a staple right there. I need to find a way to frame this because I think it's so pretty. I mean, it's bright and obnoxious. Its colors are weird. So I'm going to put a lot of work into this. So I got that for $1.99. I had to. I had to save that. That's it. And it's about to get loud in here because somebody is playing. So... I'm just gonna work on stuff and things. No real plans other than starting that ornament on the 18th. This is my life. So I hope you guys are having a great new year so far. Getting all the stitching done. Um, stay stitchy and I will check in another time. Bye guys. I absolutely forgot to do my Stitchy Wishes uh, giveaway picker. So I am going to do this. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, I've never used this before, so let's just see. There's 185 unique comments. That's awesome. So I guess I just do this start here and we've got nh shelly i'm looking forward to stitching all christmas gifts for 2018 before summer hits wow lofty i'm going to be so relaxed come next christmas it could happen yes it could so nh shelly is that new hampshire new hampshire shelly i don't know you're the winner Woo! Um, I will comment on your comment, and if you could just contact me, uh, preferably through email, because that's just a lot easier, uh, threeowlthreads at gmail.com, that would be fabulous, and I will pick some fabulous things for you. Okay, thanks guys!